I guess you found me, despite the name change. Fresh fruit. Can't be beat. Apricots are going on. Still got jelly all over the place. That's some fresh apricot jelly, which is pretty good. It's actually really good. Great to do some cooking with. I'm not going to use it today. I am going to use some fresh fruits today. But uh, as long as you don't mind fruits, then actually doesn't have to have the fruit in it. It's a little bonus for these videos. That's something you got to learn. You got to watch the videos because I might advertise that I'm doing fish tacos today, which is what I'm going to do today. But... There's usually a little bonus thrown in there somewhere along the way. It might be a trick to how I cook it. It might be a little different than yours. But, I mean, why wouldn't you watch it? What's, what's, the, what's, what's our purpose for coming here? Just eat freaking good food, right? I mean, that's what we're doing. I'm eating a good apricot. Wish you could taste it. Maybe you don't have the connections fresh off the tree and it's juicy I don't know if you saw it squirt everywhere but it's good <laughs> but I'm gonna do some fish tacos today um I got a lot of shout outs in this video too and first of all hey let's uh let's do a little poll while YouTube is still allowing us to poll new channel name eat this I like it. Tex the dog liked it too. What do you think? You like Eat This? You like Captain B's Grinds and Cocktails? Let me know in the little poll somewhere up here. It'll be somewhere up there. Give your, give your response. So um, I'm going to finish my apricot and then we'll get going. My God, that was good. Got a lot more. There's my wife coming to be on the video and interrupt me, but I hope she says no. Never mind. We're good to go. First shout out today. My new cutting board. Look at the beauty of that. Handcrafted by a master craftsman, longtime friend, old buddy. Used to hang out in high school. He's now in New Orleans, and uh, like I said, Master Craftsman does some amazing stuff. Scott, I got it. I didn't send you a message because I wanted to surprise you on the video and let you know I got it. It's absolutely beautiful, dude. Thank you, man. Thank, thank you much. Thank you, man. I'm not sure which one I was going with there, but you got both. Thank you much, man. How's that? Beautiful cutting board. We're gonna do some fish tacos. So first step is uh, putting together our seasoning. Let's do that. So seasoning, we're gonna go about a tablespoon of garlic powder. Should look something like that. A tablespoon of onion powder. Gonna do about a tablespoon of all these. Tablespoon of paprika. Oh, that one's got a shaker top on it. I don't like the shaker tops. If I don't replace that, I'll forget to do it later and it'll fall off. If someone decides to use the shaker top, go all over the place. Tablespoon of cumin. You've seen this one give me problems in the past with the shaker top, so we're just going straight for it. About a tablespoon of chili powder. Just going with a pinch of pepper. And a pinch of our kosher salt. Just 
get your hands in there, mix it up. Gonna be using our hands in a minute anyway. I washed, how about you? If you didn't, do. Gotta wash your hands, right Jace? Yeah. So I have two kinds of fish that I'm gonna work with today. We have an Alaskan cod and an orange ruffy. Orange Ruffy has been one of my longtime favorites and I just picked up a little extra at the grocery store because I didn't think we had enough. But again, I'll probably be proven wrong and we'll have plenty of extras. But yeah, I don't, uh, I'm not a big fisherman. I wish I was. Um, so I could go catch my own. I was supposed to take my boys deep sea fishing, but that was at the beginning of April and we had to cancel the trip due to everybody shutting down. And yesterday I had some of my buddies, three different ones, went out separately, deep sea fishing, really rough waves, like six to eight foot swell. So I'm glad I wasn't there. I would have lost it on that. but. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do an Alaskan cod and, uh, an orange roughy. Very similar fish. Both white fish will make great tacos. Here's, uh, let me share, let me share this with you. Here's some of my, some of my buddies out on their trip. Also, little shout out to the line cook. Check his stuff out again somewhere up here. Um, I follow him on YouTube. That guy knows how to fish and he knows how to cook it up too. Really, really good stuff. Line cook, shout out. Don't dog me out if I don't do the fish right and for not fishing. I fish at the grocery store. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get our fish seasoned up and start cooking it. So my Alaskan cod, we got two good sized fillets of that. Plop. Got about a pound of orange roughy. And as you will be able to see, maybe if I can get this open and out. Oh. I got two fillets of orange ruffy. Very similar looking. Like I said, both white fish, both extremely good. What I like to do, excuse me. Get just a little bit of olive oil in my fingers. Well, that's a little bit more than I expected to get. We'll put it in both hands and just rub them with some olive oil a little bit before applying our seasonings. And Scott, if you notice, I did watch the video you sent to me about cutting board care, and so I don't get a fishy smell in my cutting board. I have it covered with plastic wrap right now. I don't want my, my new cutting board smelling like fish. As you can see also, I used the plastic wrap that I had covering my nice new cutting board uh, to wrap the fish up. I'm gonna give it another wrap just so I can keep that fish juice in there a little bit, uh, just for temporary storage while I go out and get the smoker all set up. So, if you got a smoker, let's get it going. If you don't have a smoker, get your grill going. If you don't have a smoker or a grill, shame on you. 
Get your oven going. Set it low though. We're gonna do a slow cook. Actually, you can set it at 350 in the oven if you wanted to, but your time frame's on your own then. Pop it in there, it'll all be good. I'm using the smoker. I'm gonna get it set up. So we have a little time while that fish is smoking and I thought I'd give you a bit of history, um, just some, some useless trivia, but relevant to what we are doing. A lot of people don't know this, but way back in early battles before armor or Kevlar definitely before Kevlar, um, but before armor was readily available, protection wasn't afforded to just any soldier on the battlefield. The front line were basically disposable. They pretty much knew that they were marching into death. It was almost a certain death. So a lot of the front line would develop their own armor or something like that um, in order to try to protect themselves and better their chances. It contributed to the psychological warfare uh, by them building up their man parts, if you would. Bigger groin area? They, they were a little intimidated by that. So, since they didn't have armor, a lot of them took a piece of fish and covered their groin area, one, for protection, two, for the psychological factor. Made them look really big. A lot of them used cod. This is where we get the term cod piece. True story. In the 70s and 80s, in the heavy metal industry, the cod piece made a triumphant return in heavy metal fashion. Here, just take a look right here. Almost forgot the avocado. That would have been horrible. That's all I can say. That would have been horrible. These little squishy green things of pure goodness and love, not on a fish taco, is pretty much a sin. So get yourself a good avocado. If you don't know how to tell a good avocado, a lot of times they... Uh, put little ripe stickers on them in the grocery store and half of the time they're full of shit. What you need to do is it needs to just barely squeeze a little bit. Just a little bit of pressure to it. Also the button on top, you want that on but it should pop off easily. Oh, well like that. Just like that. Should just pop off real easy and you know you got yourself a good avocado. I don't know how they do it at the restaurants where they make sure they have nothing but good avocados where they can come out and, you know, see, look at that. No brown spots. Beautiful avocado right there. Beautiful specimen. So what I like to do is I just leave it in the peel. Slice it like that. Bunch of slices. Get a big spoon. Scoop it out of the peel, then you got yourself a bunch of little individual slices ready to go. Mm. Pop your seed out, save that in case you got leftovers. Just 
slice them all up, however thick you like them. It's up to you. I mean, nobody says I'm right in how I do it. Most people probably say I'm not right. Oh well, that's how I like it. Don't forget your avocado. So we're just a little bit over an hour and our fish is looking good and done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. I got a cookie sheet out here. I'm just gonna pull the cedar planks out and all onto the cookie sheet. We'll go inside, I'll show you how to do the tortillas. Let's get the fish out first. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Let the neighbors hear you. That is beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to say it again. That looks wonderful. It smells delicious. I'm going to cover it up with some foil so the cats don't eat it. And we'll do our tortillas and then we're ready to eat. Can you see the look of panic in my eyes? I had a brief moment of panic. Thought I ran myself out of the Ziploc bags. Luckily, there was backup in the garage. So I can go ahead and show you how I like to do my tortillas without a greasy mess. Very little effort. It does use a microwave, but I think we're all okay, okay with the microwaves these days. So anyway, get yourself about four paper towels. Fold them in half. So they're about two tape paper towels worth. Get yourself, I got about 15 tortillas here. Well, that one's not having a good day. But get yourself about 15 tortillas, wet paper towels. Hold, please. Wet your paper towels, wring them out a little bit. Put those little pieces of floured, yummy goodness right in the middle of it. Wrap them up a little bit. Get yourself your bag. Stick them in said bag that luckily we had backup of. Like I said before, if you haven't watched my kitchen prep videos, watch the kitchen prep videos. I always try to have backup of things, non-perishables, so that you don't get that look of panic in your eye like I had earlier. You got your wet paper towels with the tortillas inside of them, inside an open Ziploc bag. Do not zip it up. Pop it in the microwave for one minute. You have perfect tortillas at that point, ready to go. Tortillas are done. Cook's privilege, getting to try it out first. You can keep them in there also to keep them warmed. It, it steams them and then it'll keep them pretty good for, for quite a while. See that? No cracking. It's a good tortilla right there. No mess. Get your tortillas, get the fork out of your hand so you can actually function, be a good thing. Get your tortilla. Get you some beautiful white fish. And chop that right there. Look how perfect that is. Look at that. Oh, Lord. That's good. That is really good. So in the smoker, anywhere, you want to get your fish over 145 degrees. 
Um, a lot of times, if it wasn't so heavily seasoned, uh, you can watch for it to turn opaque or it starts building up that, that white film. You know if you're getting that white film on there, it's done. It's done. So call it good. Um, again, highly recommend your internal temperature thermometer, which uh, check the inside. The fattest part of anything, the fattest part says it's good. It's all good. have a sip of beer. I got me some uh, lime flaming rain hot sauce. It's it's kind of vinegary, but I figured I'd give this one a shot. The lime should go well with all of this. Got my fish there on my tortilla. Give me a couple of those fat slices of avocado. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Miss any? Mm -mm. Get you some of your mango salsa. Pile that on there. Hopefully you can keep it on there. If not, that's okay. It'll be on your fingers. Or hopefully somewhere you can pick it up and eat it. Give us a little bit of hot sauce. Give that a whirl. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there it goes. Hmm. Oh my God. Not much you can say. That's just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So, after you eat a couple, you can call the family, have them come in and join you. You didn't hear that, did you, Jace? I did. He did. So, he's wrapped up in video games right now. That's okay. Yes, he's not. Never mind. So, hey, thanks for watching, you guys. If you like what I'm doing, support a brother. Help him out a bit. Subscribe and share it with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. You can turn on the little bell so you get notifications when I got a new video out. Eat, drink, be merry. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good evening. Wow. Sometimes I amaze myself. Cats are coming. <laughs>